When you come to my farm, it looks like a sheep explosion everywhere. The Though the shield is bad. Hello, Hidden Well Farmers. Welcome to Friday Night Reflections. <clears throat> I have my sheep shedding all over my farm. Now, I said the word shedding. They're losing their hair. I have haired sheep. And those sheep are not like wool sheep. Wool sheep have to be sheared. But haired sheep lose their hair. They shed like a dog or anything else. They grow this really thick hair, really long, extremely well insulated, dense, coarse, matted type of hair that they use during the winter. It keeps them warm, protects them against the elements. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. But every spring, they shed and every fence is covered in sheep hair. There are wads of sheep hair all over my farm. This past week we run a few through and it was bugging me so bad to see these little patches of hair on my sheep and begin to pull some of it off because, you know, my goodness, it was kind of patchy. I mean, they looked terrible. But boy, they slick off and they become the prettiest sheep. I mean, they're just, it's amazing when they lose all that hair. But right now, there is sheep hair everywhere. Every field has clumps. When we were working the sheep, I had pulled so much off, I looked at Tyler and I said, it's like I'm walking on carpet over here. It's like I've created my own little outdoor carpet area. And by all means, uh, you know, it happens every spring, and, and uh, I love it. I mean, I really do. I think it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Such an interesting fact about those sheep. But I got to thinking about how that they shed all of that um, hair. Every winter, they go through these harsh conditions, and then every spring, when things are blooming, this daylight is getting longer, the days are getting warmer, the nights are getting warmer, they they lose all this hair and get ready for the warmer months. And uh, I, I got to thinking about that in relation to my relationship with the Lord and how that there are so many things in life that you just have to overcome and you need to shed those things off. My fire's got some... <laughs> Ashes dripping down over top of the camera there. Those aren't ghost orbs or anything. <laughs> Just ashes floating down. But uh, I got to thinking about how that in our lives, so many times, you know, there are things that we really need to just let go of. We just need to shed those off and start anew. And 2 Corinthians um, chapter 5 uh, beautifully um, states this. Let me pull the scripture up here real quick. I'll read it word for word. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And I like that because we have an opportunity to become new every day, to create new things. You know, things that I worried about 20 years ago, I don't worry about anymore. Things that I worried about 10 years ago, I don't worry about anymore. Things that I worried about yesterday, I'm not worrying about those today. Things that stressed me, don't stress me anymore. You know, we're going to face new challenges. But I don't want to face new challenges with the old stuff still attached to me. My sheep don't want to face summer with all that old winter wool, and they most certainly don't want to grow a new coat and have that old coat still on them. They want to grow a new one. And so every year they shed that off and they grow a new one. And I'm thankful that every day, through Christ, through prayer, through meditation, through dedication, we have an opportunity to shed off the old and put on the new. It's not just about salvation, it's about daily renewal. Paul said, I repent daily. And uh, 
Church, that means he renewed daily. So as you go about your business today, when you go about your life and things are, I don't know, burdening you down, just remember, sometimes you just got to shed off that old and put on the new. God bless you for finding reflections. I hope that you have a very wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. May God bless you. The storm.